Okay, in this video, we're going to learn U substitution for integrals. And it's a lot like uh, undoing the chain rule. It's similar to, it, it, it's kind of the, the reverse process of the chain rule. So let me show you what I mean. Here we have some inner function. Um, and, and this whole thing is, is pretty complicated, this expression here. But we have this function. And what I want to do is I want to make a substitution. So I'm going to say let u equal x squared plus 1. Okay, that's great. And now I'm going to take the derivative of that. And you might be saying, well, why are you taking a derivative? We're doing an integral. Well, just hang tight for a minute. You'll see. So we have du dx is equal to 2x. And now I'm going to pull kind of a mathematical trick, so to speak. Um, I'm going to swing this dx over. And now this is going to be du is equal to 2x dx. Now, just a very quick note. This dx here didn't actually technically swing over. What we're doing is we're just using the differential form of the derivative. Um, but all the same, don't worry about those technical details if they confuse you. Just think of it as this dx coming over. Okay, why did we do that? Well, take a look at what happened. We have this 2x dx, and we have a 2x dx up here. So now if we make a substitution, everything's going to simplify really nicely. So let's do that so we can see it happen. So we have this integral. This uh, x squared plus 1 is now u. So that's u, that whole thing is squared, so that's u squared. And then 2x dx is now du. And now we have a really, really nice, simple integral uh, that we can do. And we just add 1 to the exponent, divide by that new exponent, make sure we add c. And now in, it, we started in in x's. We want to end in x's, so let's just plug in for u. What was u? Well, u was x squared plus 1 was u, so that's all cubed, over 3 plus c. And we've gotten our, we, we now have our final answer. So let's take some time to review this process because it's so brand new, uh, and, and there's a lot going on. So when we're, when we're looking to do a u substitution, we want to find a function and we want to find uh, its derivative somewhere in the problem. So for instance, we found x squared plus 1 and we knew its derivative was 2x. So that's why, we were, that's why I knew to, to substitute for um, x squared plus 1 because I knew its derivative, 2x, was sitting right next to it. So that's part of the technique, learning to recognize a function being multiplied by its derivative. Okay, so we made this substitution, we took the derivative, and then we substituted. And that's really basically the whole technique. But it does take some getting used to, it does take some uh, ability to recognize patterns to see how how things work out. But, but look in your textbook uh, at the examples they give. Ask your teacher for more help if you need help seeing these patterns, and we'll certainly do more examples. So why don't we look at one of those right now. So here is another example. Uh, it's very similar to the one we just did. So why don't you pause and, and try and do it with a method uh, similar to the one we just used, and see if you can get it. 
Okay, so hopefully you've paused and tried it. Um, and let's go through this now. So the idea with U substitution, uh, when you're looking at an integral that looks kind of complicated, you wanna find a function somewhere and you want that to be multiplied by its derivative. So here we have a function, x cubed plus one. The derivative of that function is sitting right here. So we, it looks like we've found our, our candidates for our u sub. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say let u equal x cubed plus one. I'm gonna take the derivative in the differential form. So du is gonna be three x squared dx. And now I have all the pieces to my puzzle. 3x squared dx, we can sub that in here. We have something to sub in. Uh, we have this u to sub in for x cubed plus one. And let's go ahead and, and do that. So this is gonna be u is going in for x cubed plus one. That's all to the fourth. And then du is going in for 3x squared dx. So this is du. And now we have a very simple integral and this is just gonna be add one to the exponent, so u to the fifth, divide by that exponent, plus c. And of course, we can't leave it as a u. We, need, we, we started in x's, we need to end in x's. So uh, we're just gonna plug x cubed plus one back in for u. So x cubed plus one to the fifth over five plus c. Okay, so hopefully you can see U substitution is not that difficult. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. And, and we'll keep doing more problems. So I'll see you in the next video.